Hey, Flat Earthers, this is Karen. And this is Zach. Before you watch this video, please click on this link to watch part one. It's very important. There seems to be some confusion about the Earth's supposed curvature and how it is measured, as well as how we perceive it. Some people are proposing that the curvature is more pronounced at higher latitudes. This, however, is a misconception. I can see how this can be confusing, because if you take a piece of string and wrap it around the equator and then also do the same for the Tropic of Capricorn, it is clear there is a difference in the size and curvature between the two. But let's not overthink things. We have to remember that the latitude and longitude lines are just that, lines. Imaginary lines imposed on the globe for the purpose of navigation. This has nothing to do with how we see the Earth from our perspective in real life. Your perspective does not change no matter where you stand on the Earth's surface. You will always be perpendicular to the ground. Instead of thinking about how the latitude line is smaller because you are closer to magnetic north, think of your feet marking the point of your own personal equator. No matter where you walk, your equator is always going to be directly under you, cutting the globe in half. Therefore, you will always see the same curvature or lack thereof. Picture a man walking on a globe surface along the equator. Now lock that equator line to the man's feet and rotate the globe so the man is now walking along a higher latitude line. Now you can see that the lines are different, yes, but the curvature of the globe is the same. Okay guys, so this is the, the Earth in 3D without any latitude or longitude lines because they are just imaginary lines. That they only exist in our head so uh, we're not gonna use them for now but uh, so right now I am just gonna uh, explain to you what people think and then I'm gonna explain to you how to measure the curvature correctly without any mistake all right so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna cut the globe okay like this for example okay we got it cut into two parts now and now I'm gonna cut it again from here to here. Okay, now we gotta cut into three parts, okay? So what people do is they take this, let's say they take this part away, put it somewhere here, and then they rotate this part uh, like this. And then they go to the other side, you know, they are like, oh, this is a lot smaller than that one, okay? And that's correct. Yeah, this circle over here is a lot smaller than the other one uh, and that means that the curvature here is going to be a lot more bigger than the curvature here. So let's say this is the Tropic of Cancer, okay, and this is the equator and of course the curvature on the Tropic of Cancer is going to be a lot more bigger than the curvature on the equator. Well, that's perfectly fine with me. They did a good job, but that's not correct. I see the mistake and I can show you where the mistake is. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to take, I'm going to go back to my position because I, so I'm gonna, now I have only two parts, okay? So I'm gonna take this away from me because I don't want it for now, okay? And I'm gonna show you what people did here. I'm gonna draw a line from here to somewhere here, it's gonna be straight now, somewhere here. Okay, and then a straight line to here. Let's give it 2,000 miles. And then I'm gonna go back again to the center. Got it? Now, as you can see, this is, uh, this is the curvature of this circle over here. Got it? Okay, so this is what people think. This little part over here of the circle, okay? From here to, from here to here. Is a lot more bigger than the curvature on the equator line. Hmm, that's correct. I totally agree with that. But that's not correct at the same time. Why? Well, I'm going to show you that right now. So when I want to draw a line, AutoCAD automatically, automatically tell me where the center of this half of the globe or part of the globe is you see that you see that point over here that's the center so this is it 
this is not the line forget about the line i'm talking about this point over here this is the center of this half of the globe or a part of the globe it's not half so this is it so to measure the curvature we have to draw a line from here as we said before to this point over here we'll delete this line because it's not important all right so the correct curvature is this little part of the line over here but of course uh, as we don't have the the circle anymore you don't see it okay but of course you think this is incorrect and the correct math is this line over here and all right i i will try to agree with you right now but i will disagree with you in one minute so i'm saying that this line is the most important one and this is how we should measure the curvature and you say no this line all right now but you have but first before i show you anything else you have to know that we are measuring the, the curvature of this tropic of cancer for example using this center of the circle this is only the center of a circle but this is a part of a globe the center is not this one the center is this one over here okay now to to show you that i'm right i am going to do something so let's give this line uh, a new color so you can recognize it later and now i'm going to bring this ball over here I, uh, 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 i'm gonna take it from the center real center and i'm gonna put it here on the real center of this part of the globe there you go now we got a whole planet again this is it now you tell me as you can see the guy who was over here was looking straight but now if we do this what is the straight line what is the correct map this guy over here this line over here doesn't seem to be correct anymore remember the globe here this guy was looking this way and this white line over here appeared to be 90 degrees on the globe but not anymore what happened now it seems like this guy who was here was looking this way and not that way as you thought before see that the white line that appeared to be uh, 90 degrees on the little part of the globe is now tilted and the red line is the correct one now you see that let's see it from another perspective there you go it's totally tilted at first you thought you were correct because you were looking at it from this perspective okay and you were like oh this is a big curvature over here but that is not correct because when you add the globe the curvature is not there that is a tilted line you know so to do the correct line you have to draw it like that so this red line over here is the correct line and not the white line and if you want to look to the other side and these green lines over here are the correct ones should be the correct ones okay okay so this red line over here is 90 degrees on the globe while this white line over here is not 90 degrees on the globe therefore it's incorrect okay so this is how you measure the curvature on any part of the globe it doesn't matter if you have latitude and longitude lines there or not okay you just have to do the correct math and focus on the center of the globe if you cut a globe from anywhere make sure that the center uh, let me show it to you make sure that the center is not here on this circle the center is not there you just cut the center but you have when you want to do the correct cur uh, math you have to go back to the to the old center which is the original one and autocad automatically tell me where the original center is all i have to do is wave the mouse over the um, the this part of the globe and it shows it to me you see it i can i can delete this line it's not important so look at look at that again see it shows me where the center is so that's how you should do the right math you, you can't just cut a ball into pieces and then you go to the center of each piece and you say that the curvature can be measured that way no you have to go back to the original center of that little piece that you just cut you can't just create another center okay so right now i'm going to do this in 2d okay so i'm going to draw the earth and compare it 
let's see the earth curve calculator. The radius here is 6371. So 6371. I'm just making sure that I'm going to do the same math as the earth curve calculator. Okay. So uh, we're going to cut this circle over here. I'm going to cut it this way. I'm going to delete the, the other parts and get rid of this line because I'm not going to need it anymore. And as you can see, I click on this arc over here and it gives me the radius of the Earth, 6371. AutoCAD automatically recognizes center even if you cut the ball into very small pieces. Okay. Now what I'm going to do now is go, uh, hold on, uh, I'm going to, to draw a line from the center to the surface, okay, hold on, I want it to be straight, so from here to the surface, and then I'm going to, going to draw a horizontal line, I'm going to give it 2,000 uh, kilometers, and then I will go back to the center. Okay, as we said before in the other video, please go back and watch it if you don't understand this. Okay, and now I'm going to delete this one so I can measure the, the, the other parts. So I'm going to double click on it and there you go. 3065475. Okay, 3065475 meters. I got it in kilometers. So if you convert this to meters, you're going to get the same exact distance. Okay. Now here comes the most important part of the video. This is something that I forgot to talk about in the other video and I just uh, wrote it in the description but nobody looked at it and that's normal. So I'm going to explain it right now because it's the most important thing here. I'm going to prove to you that all online curve calculators are incorrect and people don't measure the curvature of the earth correctly. I mean they do but they don't. So this is confusing and I'm going to explain it right now. So let's go back to the earth curve calculator. Okay. So the radius is 6371 kilometers. So I'm going to go back to AutoCAD and I'm going to draw a circle with the same radius, say 371 kilometers. There you go. Six three seven one kilometers okay and now I'm going to draw a line a straight line from the center to uh, to, to here let's say six seven three one no sorry six three seven one okay and then I'm gonna go horizontally I'm gonna draw a line like this let's give it uh, whatever 1,000 miles uh, I mean 1,000 kilometers that should work fine enter and I'm gonna go back to the center so this is how the earth curve calculator calculates the curvature of the earth the formula works like this they measure this part over here 780031 kilometer I'm gonna go back here again I'm gonna change this to 1000 kilometers as I did before and there you go Seven eight zero zero three one kilometer. Seven eight zero zero three one kilometer. Okay, this is it. Be careful. This is in meters, and I got it in kilometers. Now this is correct and incorrect. If this is not measuring the curvature of the Earth, then it's correct. But if it's measuring the curvature of the Earth, then it's incorrect. It's uh, something that I have to explain right now. Okay, so pay attention. I mean, Google Earth gives you the distances from city to city or from place to place on the Earth. So the 1,000 miles should not be presented here. It should be presented on the globe. You got that? Now, after deleting those lines, we're going to draw another line from here, from the center to, the, to one point over here. Okay. And then I'm going to draw another line from here to another point, which is 1,000 kilometers away. And I got it measured already. This is it. I'm going to delete these lines now. And I'm going to try to draw another horizontal line from this point here. Make sure it's horizontal. There you go. Now I'm going to make these two lines intersect each other. Uh, there you go. 
And now I'm going to go back and delete this little part of this line because it's not necessary anymore. And I'm going to double click this line. All right, there you go. That is the exact curvature of the Earth. And if we compare it to the Earth curve calculator, we're going to see a big difference because we are using long distances. If you use short distances, then the difference is going to be too small. Okay, see that? One kilometer distance because we are using 1,000 kilometers. But if you use six kilometers, the difference is going to be too small. Nobody's going to notice it. But anyways, this, this is the correct way to measure the curvature of the Earth. So if you agree with me, please share this with your friends because a lot of people do not know nothing about this. Okay, they they think that the online Earth curve calculators are correct when they are not. So just show them this video and they will agree with me. I'm sure they will. If they don't, then I'm sorry, I can't help them. <laughs> Thanks for watching.